4.603.5 billion trillion pieces. Actually, I just realized that's gonna cost me a lot of money. So we're definitely not gonna do that because my bank account was super tiny. No, God, please, no. No, seriously, Sword Fam, what is up? And welcome back to a brand new video. You know, guys, I have the saddest news ever. Unfortunately, you're not gonna believe this, but my cameraman, random stuff, like this person up on the screen right here, he's literally not feeling good right now. So now this tripod is literally my new filmer. So guys, please go down below right now and smash that thumbs up button because one like equals one prayer. That random stuff will start feeling better really soon. Now guys, the reason that I'm filming right now is because something super crazy is actually happening right now. Like just about 10 minutes ago, I was outside fishing and I was just fishing like an absolute professional using my super epic unique technique that always catches me the biggest fish ever. But as I was just casually fishing inside of my creek, all of a sudden I saw something out of the corner of my eye. So I pulled out my super high tech binoculars and looked through them. You're not gonna believe it, but it looked like the thing that I saw was literally SpongeBob SquarePants. So I ran out of him as fast as I possibly could to try to capture him, but whenever I got over to him, he was gone. Like I couldn't find him anywhere, he just disappeared. No! Super genius idea that I'm gonna use to try to capture SpongeBob SquarePants in real life. All right, now inside of this beautiful, luxurious box right here, so all the items that I need to set up our trap. Isn't that right, Draco? Oh, yeah. And the first item that we need is actually this bus right here, what? which is literally the bus from SpongeBob. And then also inside the box, we have Squidward <laughs> Tentacles House. And it gets even better than that, we also have the Chum Bucket. We also have the Krusty Krusty. And these houses from Spongebob. Now, if you guys don't remember, we literally found all of these items right here. Like in this video up on the screen right here. Where we literally found most of Bikini Bottom like in real life. Because it had gotten like washed out by a flood out of the ocean into a river. Oh, snap. Oh, yeah. So, guys, my idea is to legitimately take everything inside of this box right here and set it all up inside of our creek and make it look like Bikini Bottom. Oh so God. hopefully it'll attract SpongeBob <laughs> to it. And then whenever he comes over to these houses to see if anybody's home, we can then see him and then capture him. <laughs> so here goes nothing. Without wasting any more time, let's head over to the creek to set this up. Let's do this. Let's do this. So I started running away super epically fast. Wait a minute. I forgot the camera. I'm too used to having a cameraman. All right, let's go now. So I got back to running and I was running as fast as I possibly could all the way over to where we're going to be setting this trap up at. What the heck? Guys, how did the cactus get here? He was just all the way back there behind us and now he's just standing right there. Guys, I'm going to absolutely demolish him. So I ran directly at the cactus and kicked him in the face. Then I picked him up and threw him straight to the ground, ran over to him again and kicked him. Continue back down to the creek to set up this trap. Come on. All right, so we're now walking down into the creek bed. And as you can see, it's starting to get pretty dark outside, guys. So we gotta hurry up. But I'm looking around right now, and I'm not seeing anything over here. Like SpongeBob is still nowhere in sight. Let's hurry up and set this bad boy up. A few moments later. All right, my dude. We're so gonna set it up right here in the water. So I put Squidward's house directly into the creek water, and I started grabbing all the other places as well. And putting them in the water, too. Until I had every single piece placed inside of the water. Water. Okay, so the next thing I got is this camera right here. And I'm literally gonna set this camera down right here on this rock. And then if I see SpongeBob on the camera, then we'll run out here and try to capture him super quick before he can get away. And then if we successfully capture him, then that means that we will capture SpongeBob in real life once again. Let's go, baby! Yeah, baby! Oh, guys, it's getting super dark out here, and all we can do now is just wait anyway. And I also don't have random stuff out here to protect me. Even though I got super Family masculine muscle. So I'm gonna hurry up and I'm gonna run inside. And then if my camera sets an alarm off on my phone, then we'll even run out here to check on it. So guys, we will see you later. Peace out. Ah! The next day. Oh guys, I'm freaking out right now. Like this is super intense. You're not gonna believe this. On my phone right now, I'm literally looking at the craziest video ever. Like I'm gonna put it up on the screen right now for you guys. And 
as you can see, this is where we set all the stuff up at last night. And if you look closely at this video, our camera that is recording all the stuff that we set up literally cost SpongeBob SquarePants on camera. Like, look, he's literally just standing right there. And this is a live video feed. Like, SpongeBob's still just standing there. Literally right this second as we're talking. Oh, snap. My dudes, we have to hurry up and head over there before SpongeBob realizes that it's a setup. Oh, wait a minute. Guys, as you can see, I'm literally being filmed right now like the camera is following me. Plus, it goes random stuff is finally feeling better. All of your guys' likes on the video must have healed him. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. So now that I had a cameraman, I started running as fast as I possibly could all the way over to our trap to capture SpongeBob. But as I was on my way, all of a sudden I saw the random cactus like it was right in front of me. So I hurried up and kicked him in his face, ran over and grabbed him. And without hesitation, I threw him directly into our pond like John Cena did. Then after I was done showing him who's boss and claiming my dominance, I went back up on the land and started running all the way back up towards the creek once again. Alright guys, so we are approximately 1.3.500 kilometers away from where we set all that stuff up last night and where Spongebob is standing right now. Let's make sure we keep a very good bird's eye view so that we don't miss him. And also make sure that we're being super quiet so that way we don't scare him away. Come on. So I approached the creek super sneakily walking like an absolute beast. But when I arrived, something was missing. Oh guys, look, I don't see Spongebob there anymore. No. Who oh, just did it there on the camera? Like you guys saw it! It was just right over here somewhere! Maybe he went inside of one of these places! We're gonna lift up the houses to see if SpongeBob's underneath them! Here we go, I'm just gonna send it! So I picked up the crusty crab! No! He's not in the crusty crab! No! God, please, no! So I checked Squidward's house too! No way! He's not in any of these! He's literally gone, guys! Dang it! So I started looking around for SpongeBob since he was just there like a second ago. And I didn't see him on this side of the creek, so I jumped back over these rocks. And then that's when I actually saw something. Wait, there's something yellow right there. So I jumped at the thing that I saw. Wait, there was just some flowers. You stupid. So I started looking again, and you won't believe what I saw. Oh my goodness, he's right there in the river. Okay, so I ran a spike but he wasn't there! Oh, no, no, no! Where did he go? He disappeared once again! I just saw him at 2.35 seconds ago! That doesn't make any sense! SpongeBob is so fast, he's like the Flash now! So I started looking everywhere around for SpongeBob SquarePants once again! But unfortunately, I wasn't having any luck! Unfortunately, it looks like SpongeBob got away once again. Like, I don't see him anywhere. And also, it started to get dark already again. But guys, apparently, this, like, trap that we set up actually worked. Like, it literally lured SpongeBob all the way over here to all of these items. Like, our camera literally went off, and SpongeBob was just standing there right in front of it. But unfortunately, the trap didn't work. Like, by the time we got out here, SpongeBob had already moved. So I need you guys to go into the comment section down below right now, and let me know where you guys think we can capture SpongeBob. Like, what other traps should we use? Well, guys, this is absolutely insane. I need you guys to go down below right now if you guys haven't already. And absolutely demolish that subscribe button. Because I literally jumped in the pond for this video. So that means I'm a dedicated YouTuber. And you guys should definitely subscribe because our videos are super legitness. Legitness. Well, guys, I'm going to take all these SpongeBob houses and stuff. And I'm going to take them back inside. So that way SpongeBob can't steal them from me. And maybe we can use it in a future trap. But yeah, I guess that's the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for sticking around until the very end. And we will see you guys next time on a brand new video with T.O.R.G. A.K.A. That one random ginger. Peace out. Oh, did you guys hear that? It sounds like a barracuda jump a cop And it sounds like it's getting closer. I'll see you guys later. A few moments later. Um, guys, that sound that Torque heard earlier was literally me just farting. What? Like, I've literally ate 764 Taco Bell tacos. Rest in peace, my toilet! <laughs>